video. It was recently pointed out to me that I've not done a Google Earth video in a while, and that that's funny because I actually had been thinking recently about the Google Earth videos I did maybe half a year ago or so, and how it'd be a good idea to maybe do some more of them. So that comment kind of spurned me on a little bit, and I thought it would be kind of cool to maybe go and explore a little city somewhere around the world. So I found this website, randomcity.net, and it just gives you a random city anywhere in the world. And I'm going to use this to determine where I go on Google Earth. generate a random number between 1 and 10, and that's how many times I'm going to hit the button. So we get a 7. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We get Shanghai, China. Now this might be tricky, because I think China doesn't allow Google Earth coverage, and if not, we might have to generate again. Shanghai, China. I was thinking we might explore like three different places here on Google Earth. So we have Shanghai here. Here's the airport. There's the residential district, Chongning district, road subdistrict. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Sculpture Park, People's Park, People's Square, Museum. Do we have, we don't have a ton of, don't have a ton of places here, but let's go into People's Square here. See if we can see something. Um, right here, can I go? Is this going to work? Let's see. some very tall buildings here. They have flags all over the place. Guangdong Road Subway. It's interesting that there's as much English here as there is. But I can't even click around. Um, there's some basketball See, there's no streets I can really go on to, which makes China tricky. Oh, here's a pedestrian street. Okay, let's go here onto this Nanjing Road pedestrian street and see. Maybe we can click around a little bit here. Yeah, some people doing, maybe that's Tai Chi here. Looks like you have, this is maybe a little event space. You have some pretty nice um, screens here, some speakers, a little stage. Maybe they have concerts in this area or something. Nice trash cans. That's very different from uh, how things are in Japan. So in Japan, you have some Astro Boy here. KFC, of course. McDonald's, of course. Here's some other businesses as well. Azara, let's go this way, down this way. We can go through these people. And yeah, there's a lot of people. I assume that's Daichi, I'm not sure. So you have a watch store here. So this is called a pedestrian street because I guess it's walking only. There's some bicycles, but it looks like no cars are allowed down this street. There is Steph Curry. Looks like he's advertising a cell phone company or telecarrier or something. This guy's concerned about what the person here may be doing. But yeah, so this, this looks like it's just a walking street. Um, just kind of nice. Is there anywhere else? 
else I'm going to be able to look here. Um, sightseeing tunnel. There's something down here, except there's like a mosque down here, perhaps. Which is interesting. I thought that religion in China was fairly restricted, but it looks like we have a pretty good view of an actual residential area here. Some people hang their clothes out. Through the year, this is from. Uh, come back a little bit. Uh, this looks like this is probably the next street over. You have a little bit of a little, like, looks like maybe a fruit shop here or something, fruit and vegetables. This guy has some little rice cooker out. You have some people scooters all parked. Series of residential streets here in Shanghai. See a little corner store there. Very interesting, but this is really hard to um, really get a good like look at just because of the restrictions on Google in China. So let's um, let's generate a new city. Okay, Los Angeles. Why are we zooming out? That's crazy. Okay, Los Angeles, California, a place that I've been a number of times over the years. Um, maybe less so downtown LA. I spent more time. Jersey's a Puig, Mays, Kershaw. Some pretty good seats here in Kershaw. Let's see, batting first. Who are they playing? Dave Roberts, number 30, is up to bat. Who are they playing? Corey Seeker. Seeker plays first. Seeker played for Texas, or is that the other Seeker? This lady is not amused that this person's taking a picture, and this guy is metamorphosizing right in front of our eyes. I'm trying to see if I can get a beat on who they were playing. Because we think maybe the Giants, San Francisco. Nothing. Can't see anything that's. Can't see any opposing fans. This one's very tricky. Maybe the Giants. I'd make an educated guess. Alright, let's look at. Oh, can we get like one out here on the mound? Is that one? <laughs> oh yeah, we're like down here, down here. This game there playing the Baltimore Orioles. This might have been after Finn Scully died, perhaps, based on that guy's shirt. Independence Day. same picture as the last one. So, I mean, the same day, rather, so it's possible they were playing the Orioles that game. Can we... Oh, 
let's get up, let's go out here. Out into the, what is this? Oh, just a construction site, okay. It's not very exciting. Alright, let's leave Dodger Stadium behind. Um, LAPD Police Academy, I didn't realize that was so close. that was so close to the Dodger Stadium. That's interesting. Um, let's go. I'm all turned around here. Um, let's come down in here. Japanese American National Center. Maybe of interest here. So, exit out of that. Is there anything? Los Angeles Film School. Let's pop in there real quick. Let's see what that's all about. Got a nice big green 
He's got a, a rifle. I also didn't know guns were legal in France. I thought that they weren't. Now the question is, is this a shooting range or is this just a guy coming up here to an uninhabited area? He's got his hearing protection on. You know, people are pretty much the same no matter where you go. It's kind of always been what I've believed and you see you know that looks like a dude that could have been out in the rural places I grew up you know um, out here Very 
Thing. If you did, 